Los Angeles International Airport, our starting point for three Australian adventures. One week, three cities. Adventurers of all kinds follow us down under to the land called Oz. Aussie Week starts now. We're in the Qantas Lounge here at LAX, getting ready to depart to three great Australian cities, each its own seven night adventure. And to help us show you around, meet our Aussie Week winners. They submitted short videos to our contest and won a trip to Australia. Uh, we found out about this contest online at uh, AussieWeek.com actually. You know, I didn't know if we had a chance to win, but sometimes you just have to go for things and whatever happens, happens. The question we get most when we tell people that we're going is, you guys, seriously? Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Qantas. Welcome to the Qantas Lounge. We're <laughs> <laughs> here all off on a great adventure. If you think one week isn't enough time to experience Australia, think again. Check out the group in Sydney. It's one week filled with exploring, adventure, and a whole lot of fun. When flying to Australia, there are many reasons to choose Qantas, including my personal favorite, Check out this cocoon of comfort. I'm in the six foot six Qantas sleeper bed, and it is heaven. Australia is closer than you think. Just two movies, two meals, and a nap later, you'll be in Oz. Sydney, sunny, sexy, and sophisticated. It's day one. Kristen, Ryan, Fred, Allison, David, and Alina begin their Aussie Week Sydney adventure 400 feet above the harbor. Day one, as soon as we arrived, <laughs> we climbed the Sydney Harbor Bridge. Yes, we did. Come to Sydney! <laughs> All right, so the best place to experience Sydney's beautiful harbor, right here. I'm standing on top of the Sydney Harbor Bridge. Look at this, 360 degree views of this beautiful city. It's spectacular. Everybody has got to do this at least once in their life. And you get to wear something hot like this. Yeah. What a great way to see this amazing city and now to go and explore everything else. Uh, after the bridge climb, we were uh, ushered to our own private tour, a private guided tour of the Sydney Opera House. Well, guys, welcome to the Sydney Opera House. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, for the Sydney Opera House, for us who live in Sydney, is not just an architectural masterpiece. It really plays a very important part in our lives. After a tour of the Opera House, it's on to Darling Harbour, where Nick's gives new meaning to curbside service. Um, from the Opera House, we boarded, uh, it was sort of like a yacht. Well, we went over to Darling Harbor, and then yes. we're like, okay, where's the food? And the next thing we know, we see like seven waiters, waiters like come down with these humongous platters of <laughs> seafood. <That's> fantastic! <laughs> Crab and lobster and oysters. Mussels. Uh, I can't talk anymore. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's too delicious. It's day two, and Paddington Market is open for business. It's like a quilt. It is. That's right. oh, that one like is. That's yeah. sure what? No, it was just like this big open market with um, all sorts of goods, handmade goods, yeah, jewelry, um, um, paintings, and shirts, necklaces, all kinds of wonderful it things. It was a really great way to see that kind of like artisan lifestyle in Sydney. It's like an old man. You gotta get those ears trimmed, buddy. <laughs> It's the first day of summer, but a little rain doesn't stop Allison and Fred from going to Sydney's world famous Bondi Beach. Day two, we we're at Bondi Beach. Yes. Pretty interesting uh, mm. people about. Did you lose a bet? A bet. <laughs> I did lose a bet. Lost, lost my single life. Unfortunately, it rained, but I love Bondi Beach. It was definitely artsy, beautiful, typical beach town. And uh, we ate at Icebergs, which was this gorgeous restaurant. Hi. Hi. Thank you very much. Thank you. From Bondi to Bonza, Kristen and Ryan hop on bikes to tour the city. Bonza, mate. Safety first. Safety. After Paddington Market, we went back over to um, back over near our, her, her, to our Circular hotel. K, mm -hmm. and we hopped on bikes, and, and we did the Bonza bike tour, which was another great way to see the city. I you want to ride my bike. After a long bike ride, the girls have definitely worked up an appetite. 
Okay, we're outside the Golden Century Seafood Restaurant in Sydney. Here in Chinatown. Uh, this is the best Chinese restaurant in Sydney, so that's why we're here. It's a feast on seafood. The Chinese way. <laughs> Let's just talk about how much food we had to eat. The king crab was the size of a cafeteria tray. And they bring it out to like, hey, meet your dinner. And Amazing. then they hollowed him out and used him as a bowl. As a bowl. <laughs> Those Chinese are creative. Cheers. Cheers. Day three, Allison and Fred have their first experience with Australian wildlife. Day three, we went to Taranga Zoo. Yes. We got it's to gorgeous. pet echidnas and see koala bears. Feed kangaroos. Feed kangaroos mm -hmm. and emus. After a night on the town, Kristen and Ryan are off to Hunter Valley for wine tasting. And getting there is half the fun when flying on a Sydney seaplane. In LA and San Francisco, we love our boutiques. So how about boutique wineries? Here in Hunter Valley, boutique vineyards like Tower make up a vast majority of the region. In fact, here at Tower, they produce less than 1,000 cases each year. So the focus is quality not quantity. First stop on our Hunter Valley wine tour was Tower. the Tower Estates. Hey dad, are you jealous? Um, mm -hmm. We had a really nice sommelier who let us uh, taste their varietals. After that we moved on to the Pepper, Pepper Tree. Tree Winery. And uh, Nathan, our sommelier there, that kid knew a lot about wine. He did. Um, he did. And he knew so much about wine I had to buy more. So but I did. we still didn't have enough. No. So we went to lunch where I got the wine sampler. <laughs> day four, skies have cleared. So Kristen, Ryan, David, and Alina start the day by exploring on foot. Day four, we went on a hike. Uh, we did uh, an Oswalk eco walking tour. Well, uh, it was kind of like more like a hike. Right. And then we started in Spit <laughs> Bridge and went to Manly Cove. Cove. And it turns out the manly, they call it that because it was a very manly place. The aborigines that were there like gestured like for war when the colonizers yeah. first came through. Yeah. It was very close to the city, but it was beautiful that you could have that much nature so close to a city. Meanwhile, Allison and Fred head out of town. Day four, we drove. Day four, Fred we drove. drove. <laughs> yeah. On the other side of the road. Well, we went down to Wollongong, went to Five Islands Brewery, where we met the yeah. owner, Michael Bolt. As the uh, nickname is Pig Dog, which is one of his brews there that he that he brews on Super site. Super cool guy. And then we continued on our journey to the Paper Bar Camp. We went to Paper Bar Camp, which is down in Huskisson, mm -hmm. uh, right on Jarvis Bay. And uh, we stayed at this uh, luxurious outdoor campground. Hi, Fred. Hey. Mm. Yeah, it was like crazy tents that actually had beds in them and ba fully running bathrooms nice and Nice linens. Day five, let's catch up with Kristen and Ryan who are on their way to the Blue Mountains. Day five, we uh, headed off on our tour of the Blue Mountains, mm -hmm. um, which was an amazing tour up the um, Great Western Highway um, with some points of interest and in stopping along the way and seeing uh, the scenery. We stopped at Wentworth Falls, which is amazing. Yeah, we were um, in. Amazing uh, natural waterfall. Then we saw birds and we fed them. That's right, the uh, crimson rosella. We crimson fed rosella. crimson the rosellas. Parts. Then the girls check into Old Lura Dairy for some needed R&R. &R. Um, we stayed in a cute little cottage called Moo Manor. Moo Manor. Check this out. Someone must have baked this like today or yesterday. I could really live yeah, here. Yeah, I could live here. Barbecue! Ha! Before returning to Sydney and their flight home, Kristen and Ryan get their own kangaroo experience. After seven days of adventure, sightseeing, and a lot of fun, the group reflects on their Sydney experiences. Well, I just gotta say, Sydney was just the most amazing place. I love it because Beautiful. it's a modern city, uh -huh. but they've also retained their heritage and all their old buildings. So you'll have a skyscraper next to this historically old building. Mm -hmm. So they've retained their former identity while they built a new one. Definitely the best people in the world so far. The nicest, the most friendly, uh, just great, cool people and a great energy. Yeah, I could like easily that. move to Sydney. Yeah. 